Well, let's see if the smart home valve sensor will pick it up. And voila, there you have it. The Econet Smart Home Valve Robot in action. Detects the leak right away and lets you know. So it's time for you to jump into action and solve the problem. Hello everyone and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Now today we're actually going to talk about how to prevent floods. But before that, you're probably wondering who this guy is beside me. Hello. All right. Calm yourself, people. I'm introducing him. This is Sean Anthony. Sean Anthony, what can you tell us about yourself? Well, I am uh, what I like to call a GQ model nerd. Mm. You know, I look good for the ladies, but I'm also into the comic books. Ah, sounds like a page turner. <laughs> So what would a smart home be without a video doorbell? Okay, so take us through this, Sean Anthony. This is what called the ring. Yes. So ring. here is the Lord of the Ring right here. Now he's going to talk us through this. So <laughs> this is our smart uh, home security system, the ring. So what it does is not just a fancy futuristic looking doorbell. It actually gives you live camera feeds. So once you ring the doorbell, the app will alert you that there's motion at your front door. Who's that? And look who it is. Now, I mentioned that, uh, you know, you might have flooding. Now, whether this is a flooding of emotion, that's a side note. We're talking about the water situation. Now, the thing about this device is it actually will turn off the water for you by using robots. That's right, you heard me correctly. Robots are going to shut off your water. Now, it actually sends alerts directly to your tablet or your smartphone, which is pretty awesome, right? Now, this allows you to obviously investigate it quickly. Now, we do have some links below to help you further delve into this exciting robotic world. So here we have the Econet Smart Home Valve Robot, and its main purpose is to prevent water damage by automatically detecting water leakage and then shutting off the valve that it's attached to. Like I said, it attaches to an existing valve, so no plumbing is required, and once a leakage is detected, it'll shut it off and alert you as well. Now, this is something you can actually control by your smartphone or tablet, as I had noted. Now, this is great if you have a cottage or remote property, and it's something that you can control, and it's ideal, obviously, if you're not going to be occupying it for the a few months or, you know, something of that nature. So now we're going to show you how to pair these devices on your tablet. So I'm going into the app right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a thing and it's going to look for the devices. And then once it's done that, you're going to click on it. It is taking longer than expected in this particular instance. Bear with me, sometimes technology, you know. All right, so now I found it and I'm going to rename the device because it's called something, you know, that's a little less than what I would remember. So water shut off is what I'm going to call it. And I have done that. I'm saving it as we speak and it confirms the paired device. So I click on okay. And then I'm gonna see it right on the bottom right corner. So I'm going to again, add another device. Cause of course I wanna pair both of them and what a pair it is. Now I am going to rename the device once again to something that's, you know, more easy to remember. And so I'm changing that and I'm going to call it again, very exciting water sensor. So once you're done, you click done and save. And that is then going to tell you that it confirms your paired device. You're going to click on okay. And you go into the next spot. Once again, you are going to see it there and we're good to go. It's that easy. And now we'll be setting up a routine to make sure that when the sensor is triggered, it actually shuts off the valve. We'll start off by opening up the SmartThings app and then clicking on Marketplace. Go to SmartThings Recommends, open that up, go to Smart Lights, and then which lights do you want to control? Tap to set, scroll all the way down to a water shut off, check that box. Once the box is checked, we're going to go to what do you want to do? We want to turn off the valve, so click that. So click turn off. 
Then return to the main, select trigger, tap to set. Which trigger will we use? We will use the open and close trigger. So click that. Then you go to which open and close sensors, tap to set. And we'll be using the water sensor. Check that box. Once you go in, turn off when open, we will leave that. And then click done and Bob's your uncle, we are all set. But we still have to set up the notification. So we're going to go into the notification settings, back to marketplace, click on safety and security, open that up, notify me when, then we're going to contact opens, tap to set, we're going to go to water sensor, check that box, I'm sure all boxes are checked, then notify me via push notifications, tap to set, push yes. Then enter phone number. Sorry ladies, it won't be my number this time, but we'll use the generic 416-555-5555. And then once a notification is sent, that phone number will get a text message and there you have it successfully added the notifications. And that is how you set up both a routine and notification settings. So now let's go through a few scenarios. Let's say you have this set up on your laundry room floor and oh no, there's a leak. Well, you have two options. Option A is you can have the sensor that the lovely Cynthia is holding on the floor. And then you notice these sensors right here will pick up the leakage. Or option two is you can have this sensor. Now let's say that sensor dips into the water, it detects the leak, and then you'll get your notification. All right, so let's do a demonstration. Now your laundry room floor is completely flooded with water. There's a huge leak, what do I do? Well, let's see if the smart home valve sensor will pick it up. And voila, there you have it. The Econet smart home valve robot in action. Detects the leak right away and lets you know. So it's time for you to jump into action and solve the problem. Now you can place additional sensors in various other places like your basement, your water tank, even your bathroom. Now when the sensor dries off, it doesn't reopen the valve. That is something you need to do manually. Otherwise the process would repeat itself in a vicious cycle. Now this is a great feature to have as your water pipe could actually break, costing you thousands of dollars in damage. Now this could happen when you're away at the cottage, you're away on vacation, whatever the case may be. So this is something that will alert you right away, allow you to be proactive and really monitor those investment properties. Also they work in half inch, three quarter inch and one inch valve sizes. We will find a lot more information in the description below. Now, something on a side note, you might notice our fabulous hockey pucks, Canadian, eh? They must have known. So they sent us these hockey pucks, which is quite exciting. Now, we always enjoy hearing from you, so please subscribe to us. Also, when you subscribe, remember to click on the bell icon right next to it so you're going to get notified when I release a new video. Comment below and follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Thank you for watching.